Hello everyone and welcome to the horoscope readings for this powerful week ahead. We've got a full moon coming in. We are actually on the precipice of moving from Pisces into Aries. So a lot of power flowing in. So what I thought would be really fitting this week is if I do a message for each sign from Archangel Michael, giving us the strength to carry on, to move forward, to stand our ground and to face whatever comes this week with power and grace and love in our heart and to be able to see through the illusion so we keep going forward and we remain confident and strong no matter what happens and the full moon is bringing with it a lot of fertile energy a lot of change and movement as is the energy as we move into Aries so for Pisces and Aries just to let you know I will be doing a daily angel reading for both of your signs on Sunday because even though, you know, you have set dates when you move forward, I do feel that you're both going to be feeling the energy of your sign around the powerful day Sunday. So there's going to be a lot of crazy energy and ascension and a lot of heat and fire around those days too. So a very eventful weekend. So let's bring in the Archangel Michael Oracle to bring in a message. So thank you, Angel. So all of the signs will be time stamped in the description box below. So I'm going to shuffle the signs and then I'm going to do them in this order. So we're going to start with Pisces. Welcome. So remember, Pisces, I am doing a full week this week of daily readings for you. So what do you need to know? Thank you, Archangel Michael. The same, take your time. I'm getting the energy coming through for you. Take your time this week. Relax, breathe, maybe slow down a little bit. So the message is this is your life's purpose. So whatever you are going through right now, Whatever you seem to be struggling with or getting a grip on, that's all part of your life's purpose. And you may be thinking right now, what's my life's purpose? Why have I come? What am I here for? What am I meant to be doing? And you're doing everything right now that you were meant to do, which means you're learning the right lessons, you're overcoming the right obstacles, and you're moving forward fearlessly with strength. So the prayer is Archangel Michael, and they're giving me as well a lot of saliva in the mouth. So you may be craving something, hungry for something, you know, kind of wanting something new. So Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And I ask you to help me to be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. So if you want to change your career, if you want to work more on your mission, on the things that light you up inside, the angels will give you the strength to do that. Say to the universe, what would you have me do? You know, where would you have me go? What would you have me say? Speak to the angels and they will guide you through signs and synchronicities, number sequences, and that feeling inside that guides you and pulls you and directs you in the direction of your dreams. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Next sign is Capricorn. Welcome. So let's see what Archangel Michael wants you to know. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, for Capricorn for this week? Here we go. Gone back in, so I'm going to keep going. You may have choices to make this week. So you may have many, many options. They show me the energy of the Seven of um, Cups and, and the Seven of Wands in the tarot, which means you're going to be standing up for what you believe in and going for what you want. You know, close your eyes, breathe, and then make your choice, make your decision and follow your heart. So you may find this week, Capricorn, that you need to shield yourself. You know, shield yourself from any negative energy, any negative people, any drama, anything toxic going on. Shield yourself. So you may find that you have time for you. You know, you start saying yes to you and no to other things in your life. And you were shielding yourself from harm. And a great thing to do is, you know, if someone's having a conversation around you and it's going in a negative direction, you know, use the words in your mind, cancel, clear, delete, because then you cancel out any negative vibration. You know, you clear what's being said so that you focus on your clear opinions and your values and your morals and you bring clarity in. And then you delete anything you no longer need. So as Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my twin flame, my vehicle and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your beautiful purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night 
and keep my loved ones safe on this journey. Very beautiful. So day and night, you're being shielded, protected and guided. Wherever you go, Archangel Michael is already there. He's already walking in front of you, removing obstacles, shielding the way, keeping you safe. So great message for you today to move into this new week in power, but also make sure you're shielding yourself. And you may want to visualize Michael's in front of you, surrounding you, or there's a big bubble of light around you. You may even want to visualize that you're wearing a beautiful coat that, you know, shields you from any toxic energy, any psychic attack, any drama, any, you know, negative energy around you. Breathe and know that your journey is protected. So another reason here to know that if you aren't with your twin flame right now, or if you you know, in communication difficulties, or you're not talking, you're being shielded and protected. So remember, there's always a blessing and a silver lining and everything. Sometimes you just have to look a little bit closer. I hope that helps. Very powerful. Next sign is Gemini. Welcome, Gemini. So let's see what Archangel Michael wants to say. Very clear message come out. Look at this. This is powerful because we've got believe and trust. And in the weekly reading this week, this is the message. Believe and trust, have faith. Focus on your dreams, have that vision. And don't let anything knock you down. You know, wherever you go, you can handle it. You are strong, you are a warrior, you are protected, and you are very, very loved. And it says, before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace any fear with faith and trust. And let me be filled with strength, with courage and confidence. So as you fall into sleep, focus on love, gratitude, joy and overcoming challenges. So you don't go to bed in fear or in struggle or anxiety. You go to bed feeling free, feeling easy. So before you go to bed, ask the angels for help with anything you're dealing with. So you wake up feeling better, revitalized and ready for the great day ahead. But when you believe and trust, miracles come in and magic takes place in your life. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Leo, welcome. So let's see what the energy is around you this week. I love how Michael's just throwing these cards out here. So keep your eyes on the targeted intention. Now, this is super powerful. This is the energy of the archer, connecting with Sagittarius, connecting with fire, which is connecting with you. And you have the strength you need to keep that vision, to hold that intention, to believe and have faith. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me to focus on my inner vision and my inner intention. That means the things that you really desire, the things that you really crave and want. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fear or any doubt or any struggle granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. So your dreams are possible. They are coming to fruition, Leo, but you must believe and not let anything knock you off your path. Keep that vision. Have unwavering faith, no matter what people say and no matter what people do. That's how you're going to manifest it. That's how it's going to come into your energy and you're going to receive it. So keep your eyes on your intention. Maybe you want to set your intentions this week. You want to release some things with the full moon and create some things ahead. So a great week for vision board updating, creation box, talking to heaven, releasing things that get you down to pull you up. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. Next sign is Sagittarius. Welcome. So what's the energy coming in around you? Wow, two cards. So we've got, it's time to leave the unhealthy situation, but take your time making the decision. So very clear why both of these cards came out. You know, there's something unhealthy right now going on. Something that isn't serving you anymore. Something that needs to be, you know, decided upon. There needs to be a change. So this could be leaving a job that doesn't serve you. It could be leaving a relationship that doesn't serve you could be giving something up that you don't like doing anymore. But anything that feels off to you, feels unhealthy, doesn't resonate with you, it's time to leave that behind. And the full moon on Friday is a great time to release. You know, we've got the worm full moon, so it's also a fertile time to create. So 
there's no need to rush michael is saying take your time making any decision so you keep that vision you don't get hurt or cause pain and you know exactly what you're doing so the prayer is archangel michael which parts of my life do i need to focus on more closely right now thank you for helping me to hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life so this full moon is going to allow you to release what needs to go but take your time making the decision so also big message here for twin flames don't rush anything or force anything or stress over anything just take it one step at a time because slow and steady always wins the race archangel michael please help me to stay strong and relaxed as i approach this situation remind me to detach and step back allowing the situation to naturally unfold thank you for protecting me so whenever you're going through this week sagittarius you can handle it you are protected you are loved and safe whenever you want to release the angels are with you helping you take your time breathe relax no need to rush or force anything just go with the flow i hope that helps have a great week and i'll see you soon wow aries welcome now you're gonna have a very powerful week because you know we move into your sign next monday but i'm feeling you moving into it on sunday so i am actually going to do a daily angel reading for you on sunday and then continuing from monday onwards for your birthday time so you know if you are celebrating your birthday on sunday it's going to feel very powerful for you so aries it's going to be a great week the angels saying don't rush anything or force anything you may feel like you know you're moving ahead right now and things are flying forward in your life and you're in the driving seat of your life but also take your time don't rush anything and you know breathe especially if you're dealing with fear they give me fears so releasing fears especially around the past and things you're letting go of so two cards coming out for you detach from the situation and ask archangel michael for help with this situation so anything that's going on this week aries just detach from it what does that mean it doesn't mean you move on it means you let go of struggle you let go of chaos you start focusing on love not fear you know you focus on other things maybe it's time to give back to you so if something is really getting to you triggering you stressing you out take a step back which always moves things forward sometimes we have to zoom out so we see it clearer we rise up so we observe it and understand it and gain clarity on it so detach from the situation archangel michael i ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that i may be centered in the knowingness that peace is all around me everywhere within me and this situation so michael's going to help you to focus more on love and peace than fear and drama and if you do find you're struggling make sure you call on him because he's saying ask me for help ask me to help you with this situation and i will i will bring in my flaming sword and i will cut that fear away i will cut that doubt away that struggle away so you can handle it better archangel michael thank you for assisting me with this situation so you can talk to him about it in detail in your mind you can write it down you can speak it out loud however feels good to you please help me to be filled with faith and peace at all times so the angels are going to help you to find faith and trust which is what this week's all about and also to feel at peace which means you feel calmer more centered and more in the now and we always feel that way when we cut away the fear and focus on the faith i hope that helps have a great week and i'll see you soon wow taurus next sign welcome so let's see what archangel michael wants to say to you today two cards powerful so the message is lean on god and the angels for support and write about your thoughts and feelings wow very powerful so whatever you're going through this week if you write it down it's going to help you if you write about the situation you write about your feelings it's going to help you and you're going to feel that support from heaven around you so you're not alone you know sometimes we feel alone on this journey we feel misunderstood we feel like no one gets it but the angels always get it and the angels always understand and they're saying lean on me you know lean on god god is power god is source god is miracles 
lean on God and the angels for support and they will help you. God created the angels to assist you with anything you're struggling with right now. Dear God and angels, I give you this situation. And you can talk about it when you pray, ask for help, write it down. I give it to you now and completely. I step out of the way and I allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. So there's a miracle coming into your life. You may even see bees that show this to you and write down your thoughts and feelings. You may be realizing this week about things you want. So write it down. You know, make sure you carry around in your handbag or your wallet or your purse some form of notebook because you may get divine guidance coming to you or inspiration about things to do. You know, if you are a card creator, for example, you may get cards coming into your mind, things you want to create, or you may get an idea for a, a blog or a vlog. You may get an idea for a book you want to write or a painting you want to paint or lyrics to a song or poetry. So you're feeling very creative this week and the angels are with you, guiding you and holding you up and protecting you every step of the way. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and my wisdom so I clearly express myself and gleam insight, blessing and healing. And we heal as well with our words. You know, if we write things down, it brings in healing. You know, if you're struggling with anything to do with your twin flame journey or anything in the body or anything at home, write down your thoughts and feelings. And then anything that may cause you pain, turn it into gratitude. Look at it with fresh eyes and think, wow, I'm actually learning patience from that. I'm learning how strong I am through this. So you heal it up. So written words and especially using a pen and a piece of paper. You know, it's very healing and therapeutic instead of just typing things out on your phone. And the God and the angels are with you everywhere, protecting you, keeping you safe. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Scorpio, welcome. So let's see what Archangel Michael wants to say to you today. So the message for the week for you is honour and trust your feelings. Wow, very powerful. So trust what you're feeling about this situation. Trust what you're feeling about your life, about your partner, about your twin flame. And then honour that, which means you stand in that power. And I feel Archangel Gabriel all around you this week, helping you to stand firm, to speak your truth, and to do that in a very loving way, but a very strong way that gets your point across and heard, but also is very kind and loving. So thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting me, guiding me and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me to understand and express my emotions with love. So you may find this week you want to express your love. You may find your twin flame expressing their love. You may find that you want to tell people how you feel. You want to get things off your chest. You want to be you. So this week, be authentic. Trust your heart, your intuition, your soul. Trust what you're feeling and what you know to be real. Trust what you're being guided to do. Trust in that. And that honours you, your feelings, your emotions and your soul. So it's going to be a very powerful week for you to be you. Be genuine, be authentic, shine your heart light and everything else will fall into place. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Aquarius, welcome. So let's see what the angels want you to know this week. Wow. Wow. Powerful jumping out the deck. So first of all, we've got your inner guidance is real and trustworthy, especially anything connected with your body or health or ascension. And we've also got decide to be happy now. So what I'm feeling with this is if you're going through anything, first of all, in your physical self, you know, you know whether that's something you need to be concerned with or not. In other words, you know if it's ascension or if you're picking up on something with other people because you're sensitive to energy, or you're feeling your twin, or if there is something physically wrong where you need to go and get physical help, like seeing a doctor or, you know, a professional. So always trust your inner guidance system, your body, your mind, your heart, because it's real. You know your body better than any doctor or anyone else. You know, you know how you feel, you know what you're going through, you know what to do. And he says, Please help me to clearly see, hear, feel and know the divine guidance that I've asked and prayed for. 
So if you've been asking for help and praying about this situation and talking to heaven, whether it's about body, mind, soul, love life, career, finances, anything you're going through, the angels are ready to answer you. But you have to allow the guidance in. So allow me to keep my ego out of the way so that your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. So it benefits you in your journey and your mission when you listen to your own truth, when you listen to your intuition, when you pray for help, and then you clear your mind to receive the answers. And you may receive those answers through meditation. You may receive them through silent time, connecting with the self. You may receive them through signs you see or synchronicities or numbers, whether that's in your real world or online or your virtual reality. So pay attention to what your body and your soul and your heart is saying to you because what you feel is real, especially connected with the body. So focus upon divine and perfect health. So it's going to be a great week for you to listen to your body. What does your body need? What does it want? How can you feel healthier and happier? God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. And what the angels are saying here very clearly is the way you're going to feel healthier and the way you're going to tap more into your intuition and your own truth and your feelings is to be more present in the now. And when we decide to be in the now, the present moment, and we decide to be happy in the present moment, in the now, we feel better because peace lives in the now. It doesn't live in the past. It doesn't live in the future unless we manifest and we feel good about it. It lives in the now where we are safe. So decide to be happy now. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness, to joy and bliss. I am now willing to see all the goodness in my life. So you know, if you've been struggling with that to see good things, they're always there, but we have to be willing to see them. We have to be willing to choose love. We have to be willing to choose joy. We have to be willing to choose happiness. And sometimes we have to be willing to choose ourselves and put our own needs first and ask for what we want. And that's what you're doing here. So this week, Aquarius, listen to your body, trust your feelings and do what you're being guided to do because that's right now what's best for you. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Cancer, welcome. I'm excited because I'm a Cancerian too. There we go, straight out. So the message is admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. Wow admit the truth so this is going to be a week where you get very real with yourself you may even get very real with others about things and you act accordingly so you're not just going to talk about something you're going to walk it too you're going to do what you've said you know you're going to do what it says on the tin so you're admitting things to yourself and then you're acting accordingly that could be changes you need to make things you need to do it says i appreciate god your support for helping me to face my feelings with grace and acceptance so I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and for giving me strength. So getting very honest, accepting things in your life, being more at ease with your journey, feeling more graceful and getting on your horse and moving ahead. That's what I'm feeling, you know, moving forward, freedom energy, feeling excited about what's to come. Maybe even spending some time on your own, deep in thought, or doing things that you love to do. So I also feel, Kanji, it's going to be a replenishing week for you, where you give back to yourself, you nourish yourself, you look after you, and you feel refreshed and clean and healed, because you're getting ready for the newness of this kind of rebirth energy coming in in April, magic ahead, forward motion, great change coming in. So admit the truth to yourself about all things this week. And then decide to act accordingly because that's something only you can do. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Virgo, welcome. So let's see what Archangel Michael wants you to know for this coming week. Thank you, angels. Here we go. So the message is sense of humour. Wow. Now, Virgo, you can take things a bit too seriously sometimes. Sometimes you can take things a little bit too much to heart or you can take things personally. So Michael is saying to get through this week with power, to be more at ease this week, use your sense of humour, you know, see the funny side in things, laugh at things, 
you know, watch a funny show on YouTube or on, you know, Netflix or do things that boost your vibration through humour and joy. Thank you for helping me to see the humour in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to review and view my experiences in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. And I'll give you an example of this, you know, how you can do this. So say, if, for example, your twin flame is ghosting you. Just imagine them with a big sheet on the head and how silly they'd look and how silly the situation is. And it's their problem, not yours. They are the one that have got a sheet over the head, can't find the way out. You know, think about in Harry Potter, if you're a Harry Potter fan, when they were doing um, in, in the, the cupboard thing with that, um, you know, the, the bogot, 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 I think it is, where, you know, what, what Snape says or whoever's doing it, I think it's uh, the looping. It's a, it doesn't really matter the ins and outs of it, but you, all you have to do in your biggest fear, your biggest challenge, your biggest drama, whatever's going on, look for the funny side of it. Look for something that brings humour in. So, for example, you know, you see something scary like a spider and then Neville imagines you know that spider turning into something else i think it was ron actually spider having um i like skates on roller skates and he was falling all over the place and he's afraid of you know i think it was his nan and she turned into something else so you know whatever you're afraid of whatever fears you have you know you may be afraid of speaking your truth or bambling on rambling on you know that's what they're showing me anything that you may get embarrassed about then stand strong and be you and find the funny side. And it's really good when we find the funny side in ourselves. You know, if we're struggling with something or instead of saying, oh my God, you're so stupid. Instead of saying that to yourself, say, oh, that's funny. You know, you're so funny. It's amazing. So look for the good in things. And you know, Virgo, you can be a perfectionist. Nothing's perfect. Everything has flaws. You know, there's always mistakes, but they lead to a lesson. They're not even a mistake. You know, they're a lesson that leads to blessing. So look for the funny side of things this week. Find your sense of humour, even in pain and chaos, because it will find the power in you to carry on. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Libra, welcome. So let's see what Archangel Michael wants to say to you this week. What do you need to know? Thank you, angels. So the message for you this week is your children are watched over by angels. Now, this is really beautiful because this is really a message from the creator saying to you, I'm watching over you because you are my child and, you know, I'm watching you. And I feel this is also a big message for anyone who's lost the mom or lost the dad. You've been watched over by them. You know, they're always around you in heaven watching over you and your children are watched over this is a message for anyone who's a mum or a dad that your children are watched over. They're watched over by you. You're making sure they're okay. It doesn't matter how old or young they are. They'll always be your baby. But they are also watched over by angels and they have a guardian angel too, just like you do. And if you're wanting children and you've been connecting with spirit babies, they're watched over by angels. The message says, Dear guardian angels of my children that born and unborn, Thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. And also feel if anyone's dealt with a stillbirth or lost a child or miscarried, these children are watched over by angels because they are beautiful souls. Please guide me to know the best way to be a good parent and real role model for my own and other people's children. And what's coming through is reparenting yourself. You know, we have to also be a parent to ourselves on this journey. We have to nurture and nourish our inner child. That inner child wants your love and affection and attention more than anyone else. That inner child can be connected with the ego, can be very demanding, very fearful, in pain. And we have to give to ourselves and love ourselves and ask ourselves what we need. And sometimes we have to, you know, be very serious about things with our ego and say, look, I've got this, it's okay. Other times we have to just have fun with it. Look for the funny side of it, have some fun, do something that we've always wanted to do. So love yourself this week. Be good to you because that inner child, that little child there is actually you. And you're being watched over by your guardian angel, your loved ones in heaven, angels and God 
and watching over you, keeping you safe. And no matter what, the universe has your back. I hope this helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.